T-Sites and Finivision X-Series oscilloscopes offer a broad range of power-related measurements with the power measurements option. This video is part of a series of several short videos on specific power supply related measurements. Here we show a simplified schematic of a switch mode power supply along with a list of measurements that can be performed on the power supply to test and characterize it. In this video demonstration, we'll focus on performing the inrush current measurement on the AC input, which is highlighted in green here. For our demonstration, we'll be using Keysight's Switch Mode Power Supply Demo Board. This is the same DUT that we use in many of our hands-on workshops around the world. The first task in making an inrush current measurement is to probe the AC input with voltage and current probes. You'll typically need a high voltage differential probe and a clamp-on Hall Effect current probe. This particular power supply demo board has PCB current loop traces built right in to make current probing easy. When making current measurements on your DUT, however, you'll typically need to create your own wire current loops. Let's start making measurements. I'll begin with the default setup so that we can see everything from scratch. Next, I'll go into the Analyze menu and select the Power Application. Then, I can select which measurement I want to perform. We have videos on all of these particular measurements, but right now we're going to select the in-rust current measurement. Next step is go into the Signals menu. In this menu, we can see a diagram very similar to what I showed earlier, and it gives you some uh, helpful hints on how to connect your voltage and current probes, which I've already done. You can also assign which Input is voltage, in this case is channel 1, we'll just leave it there. Current is channel 2. And then you have to enter what your expected maximum inrush or peak current will be and your maximum input voltage peak to peak. Now this one's a known uh, and we have the default settings here optimized for our demo board. Our demo uh, board, the output of the transformer that feeds the demo board, it's approximately 40 volts peak to peak. Uh, this one may be unknown, and you may have to guess it and run this test a couple of times. But at this point, we're all ready to perform an uh, inrush current measurement. To begin the measurement, I'll press Apply. When I press Apply, I get an instruction and it tells me to turn off the power supply, then press Next. So I'm going to flip off my power supply. Give it a few seconds, let all the uh, current drain out uh, of, of all the capacitors, or let the voltage drain off. And when, uh, when I press next, now it says turn on the power supply. Now at this instant, when I initially turn on the power supply, it's going to look like a short circuit until all the capacitors on the input filtering charge up, and there will probably be a surge of current. Now I'll press next. Now at this point, what you can see here, the yellow is the voltage waveform, the sine wave turning on, and here you can see the current waveform going from zero amps, and you can see a big bump here, and then it settles down to the steady state, but way down here, it's kind of hard to see, is a very narrow current spike. I'll turn the intensity up, and it measured about 22.3 amps. Negative. Now at this point, we can zoom in on this very narrow spike. I could use the, the scope's um, automatic zoom capability. Let's zoom again. Wait a minute, not that one, it's this one right here. And there you can see the characteristics of that initial spike that was minus 22.3 amps. As mentioned at the beginning of this demonstration, this short video was part of a series of several short videos on specific power supply related measurements. To learn more about InfiniVision X-Series oscilloscopes and how they can help you test and debug your power supplies, contact your local Keysight authorized distributor and ask for a demonstration. Thank you.